So in today's video I'm just going to give you a little bit of information and places to visit in the city of Cairo. What I'm going to show you pretty much is like the most traditional and popular places that even the tourist agencies promote the most because they are quite close to each other and still they are just beautiful to see. So before anything, if you are planning just to come to this country, the easy and first thing that you need to do is just obtain the visa. You can do this two ways. First, in your country, you just go to a website and obtain the visa on your way. Or the easy one for me was at least just arriving on the airport, walking to the banks, and as you can see, these are the banks, and there you just have to pay 25 American dollars. For this, make sure to bring American dollars. It's the only currency that they take, and even if you're traveling from other countries, you have Europe, whatever you have, they do not accept other currency than American dollars, so for sure have it with you. After the airport, we end up going to a hotel located in the city of Giza. And I do recommend you to book a hotel here because you can find hotels that are located just in front of the beautiful pyramids. The next morning, finally, we decided to explore the pyramids. And in order to get in, you had to pay $9 or 160 Egyptian pounds. Here you can do a few activities, one of them is visiting the tombs inside of the pyramids. If you want to see the biggest tomb, you had to pay $5 or the smallest tomb, you had to pay $2.50. So this place was unreal. What you see in the video is not even compared of what you are going to see and clearly feel. It was really, really cool experience. And if you are going there, I do have a huge recommendation, something that is not too nice, but you will see a lot of people who sell things and they are quite aggressive. So just be aware and be a little bit careful of them because what happened to us, for example, was that one guy tried to sell us something, we didn't want to even touch it, the guy just threw the paper and obviously it was on the floor. If you grab it, most of the time they end up telling you you have to buy it and they are really pushy. So just walk around and try to avoid them so you will have a really nice experience in that place. Another activity that you can do here is renting a camel and that will cost you $15. Usually you can be between half an hour to an hour riding them on the middle of the desert. If you don't want to do that, you can literally just walk to the Sphinx and before entering this place, you can pass through the mummification room, which was quite amazing to see. Pretty much everything that you're going to see here is really, really big, one of the best experience that I have. So please, if you're able to go to this place, for sure, do it. After this, we decided to go to the museum and here you will find thousands of things to see that maybe it will take you years to look at them all. And from the pyramids to the museum, it will take you between one hour to get there because the traffic is really, really heavy in Cairo. And in order to get inside, you had to pay 160 Egyptian pounds or $9. And something that is kind of annoying about this place is that they make you buy a photography ticket that cost 50 Egyptian pounds, that is like $2 and a half. And sometimes happen if they catch you without the ticket, they make you erase the picture and we experience in other places that when you don't have the ticket they tell you that maybe you can give them just half of the money that you pay outside uh, but if you don't want to pay anything to anybody uh, just tell them no i don't want a ticket and just do not take pictures inside take my hand i'm gonna walk you through remedy i'm gonna help you sleep tonight a kind of fearsome like a child without his dreams at night i want to help you dream tonight so I said I wouldn't spend a lot of time on you, a shame we'll never get to fight. 
Okay guys, so now let's get real a little bit before we continue. So if your idea is maybe traveling by yourself, obviously you can do it, but I do recommend you to hire a tourist guide. You can do this in the hotel, but if you go to the pyramids and temples, there is nobody who can just show you around and tell you the stories. These temples and pyramids, they have so many details and so much information that it's really cool to understand why they were built. So for this reason, you need somebody who show you around. The other thing is because getting to places is really difficult and as I told you before, people kind of try to take advantage of you if they see that you are from other country. So about transportation, I didn't see even one good bus stop. These are the public buses there. And obviously if you speak the language, it will be easy for you to move around. If not, you can take a taxi from your hotel to the area that you want to walk and this way at least you may know how much exactly you have to pay from one area to another one and maybe if your idea is just renting a car and driving there I do not recommend you to do that at all the way that people from Cairo drives it's horrible every single car that I saw it has scratches and bumps uh, from the two days that I was there I didn't see one car without scratches it was unbelievable people just come this way, go this way and cross you it's horrible. Other thing that you need to know about Cairo is that it's really, really dirty. And the only area that I saw that it was clean was around the museum and where the really big hotels and maybe embassies are located. The rest of the area, it's extremely dirty. Basically, you are going to be walking on the street because all the sidewalks are full of garbage, sand, and even the cars are parking in the middle of the sidewalks. Other thing that you need to know is that all the social media and Google Maps all they work there so it's quite easy to move around if you want to. Okay guys so now we can continue checking other places and my next stop is going to be in Saqqara. This is located 45 minutes from Cairo so this is considered one of the burial grounds for the kings and nobles of the old kingdom and in order to go in you have to pay 75 Egyptian pounds. The beautiful thing about this place is that you are going to find the step pyramid of Djoser, I hope I'm pronouncing this well and basically this is the first pyramid found it has more than 5,000 years if you compare them with the pyramids of Giza they just have 3,000 years something cool about this place is that they still digging and finding a lot of burial areas so it was quite interesting to be here And something that you can do too is going inside of one of the tombs found in this area. They don't charge you to go in but they don't allow you to take pictures. So I do recommend you to visit this tomb because it has so many details and something really cool is that it's not related to religion, it's more related to the daily life of people here. It was really interesting to see this place. After this we end up going to the Memphis Museum which is located 5 minutes away from this location. In order to go in you have to pay 4.5 dollars and maybe you would spend just 20 minutes exploring this place because it's not too big. The main thing here is just check the 28 meter long statue and obviously outside you will find a few extra statues here and there but it's not too impressive but still something interesting to do if you are in that area. Finally, the last part of my trip here in Cairo is basically visiting the Cal El Khalil Bazaar, which is one of the biggest markets here. Here you will find a lot of spices, metalwork, pottery, fabric, jewelry, and this is really touristic. And basically here you will find a lot of these things with really low prices comparing with other places. So now as a huge recommendation, when they see that you are from other country, they do try to put really high prices. So always you have to bargain and reduce the price. So if somebody offer you maybe 200 Egyptian pounds, so you can even reduce to the price uh, to 100 Egyptian pounds or even more. So uh, here you are always expected to negotiate the price. 
to always be aware of it and so people here is not too aggressive it's pretty much really nice the way that they try to sell you things they are really polite most of them speak different languages um, which is really impressive so it was a cool experience a cool place to visit for sure and this is the video for today guys I hope this helped you a little bit don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of my videos this is part one of my trip to Egypt and just see you soon <laughs>